it was shocking how effective the green tea polyphenols were in stopping those blood vessels that were feeding the cancer. Did you know that the foods on your plate can be your first line of defense against cancer? By and large, plant-based foods, even ones that have some natural sugars in them, actually help reduce the risk of cancer. Dr. William Lee is a well-respected doctor, scientist, and best-selling author who has made a name for himself by advocating for the use of food as medicine. As the head of the Angiogenesis Foundation, he's written popular books such as Eat to Beat Disease and Eat to Beat Your Diet. Dr. Lee's groundbreaking research explores how natural compounds found in everyday foods can activate our body's defense mechanisms to prevent and combat diseases like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. His goal is to close the gap between the food industry and the health sector, helping people to relish their meals while simultaneously boosting their health. Dr. Lee's mission is to demonstrate that what we eat can serve as powerful medicine, transforming the way we view our diets and overall well-being. The immune system is more powerful than we ever thought, so powerful in fact that if we had cancer, our immune system can wipe it out even if the cancer is spread. There is some biotech or pharmaceutical company working on them to develop some drugs. I will tell you that Mother Nature has beat drug companies to the punch because there are tons of foods, more than 200 foods that I write about in my book, Eat to Beat Disease, that actually have the ability, a proven ability through science and research to activate our health defenses. So I'll dive into them and tell you about some of the foods. Food isn't just fuel, it's information for your body. The right foods can turn on health promoting genes and turn off pathways that allow cancer to grow. Every day, billions of cells in your body are working hard to keep you healthy. But when something goes wrong, like damage to DNA or unchecked cell growth, cancer can develop. Here's the good news what you eat can make a huge difference in tipping the scales in your favor. First up, antiangiogenic foods. These are foods that starve cancer cells by cutting off their blood supply. Think of it like pulling the plug on their life support system. What do we need to do? We need to shore up our body's ability to prevent extra blood vessels from growing. Our health defense system is naturally hardwired to do that. How do we actually do that better? Well, it turns out there are more than a hundred different foods that have been studied. I've studied almost all of them that can enhance your body's ability to cut off the blood supply to that are that might be feeding cancer. So you keep your good, healthy circulation. You prevent the extra blood vessels from feeding cancers. What are some of these foods? Tomatoes. Tomatoes contain a bioactive natural chemical called lycopene. And clinical studies have shown that tomatoes can reduce the risk of prostate cancer Prostate cancer requires a blood vessel, blood supply in order to grow, to become a problem. That men who eat two to three servings of cooked tomatoes, tomato sauce, two to three times a week, actually have a 30% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Why? Because the bioactive in the tomato sauce prevents the blood tumors from recruiting those blood vessels. Now, in men that do develop prostate cancers, the more tomato sauce you eat, the less aggressive the prostate cancer actually is. So. This has been studied, by the way, in 30,000 men. This is like a human study, not just a theoretical study. And what I've done is gone back into the lab to start really digging and digging and digging and working out exactly what the mechanism of, uh, of action is. So, by the way, this also works for breast cancer, but in a different way as well. Another anti-angiogenic cancer-starving food, soy. Now, there's an urban legend that soy actually causes breast cancer. Is a risk completely wrong. Urban legend, soy... As contained phytosterols, which the, does have a plant estrogen, which looks nothing like human estrogen, blocks human estrogen. It's like a mother nature's tamoxifen. And studies have actually shown that eating soy lowers the risk of the danger of breast cancer. And in fact, it improves survival in women who actually have breast cancer. If you've got breast cancer or you're at risk for breast cancer, the more soy you eat, the lower your risk is, the better your survival. So other foods, black raspberries. Cacao, I, I actually studied um, the chocolate uh, that was used to make this, and we actually found that it kills leukemia cells and lymphoma cells. So dark chocolate also cuts off the blood supply of eating cancer. Pomegranate juice, um, green tea. I wanted to show you this. I, I, I'm actually rarely found without a cup of green tea around. This is a whole leaf green tea, but you can use matcha. You can use iced tea works as well as hot tea. I always tell a story in my book. I had a great uncle that lived to 104 and he lived at the base of a tea mountain and every single day he drank like six cups of green tea and stayed very physically active walking up the hills and trails uh, as well. Green tea, by the way, 
has been shown to reduce your risk of colon cancer. Why? Because the polyphenols in green tea cut off the blood supply, um, feeding cancer. Berries are anti-androgenic. Had some this morning for breakfast. Some of my favorites. Uh, love blueberries. The color blueberries is called by anth is made by anthocyanins, a natural dye. One cup a week has been shown in human studies to fight breast cancer. Okay, uh, also boost your immune system. Black raspberries. You need a little bit more if you are fighting bladder cancer. Seven cups a day of black raspberries can fight breast, uh, bladder cancer. But if you're trying to fight cardiovascular disease, it can also improve heart health as well. And you only need four individual berries a day. So again, food doses is something really cool that we're working on. Walnuts. Uh, walnuts have been shown to help improve outcomes for colon cancer. Okay, if you've got if you're fighting colon cancer, how do you actually lower? Uh, how do you improve your odds? How do you fight colon cancer better? Nuts contain fiber, which feeds your gut microbiome, is also anti-drogenic. Turns out you need only 11 walnuts per week, 22 halves of walnuts. So think about that. You're watching Netflix and you're snacking on walnuts. If you have 22 of them over the course of a week, that's easy to do. That's, you know, just a, a three of them a day, three halves a day. That actually is a dose that's been effective, uh, shown effective through studies, human studies, for colon cancer. So angiogenesis, first health defense system, we want to be able to actually boost our ability to prevent cancer, put the raise those shields, okay? If you found this information valuable, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your loved ones. Let's spread the knowledge and empower more people to take charge of their health. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss our updates. Until next time, stay healthy, stay empowered, and let's beat cancer one meal at a time.